What's up YouTube? Today we are taking a look at Fury Warrior build a new patch on Turtle WoW, the Tower of Karazhan, patch uh, 1.17.2. In uh, top right uh, corner you can check out my Deep Prot Warrior guide if you ever decide to go Deep Prot. It's really fun, you should check it out. Also in this video I'll give you uh, Sweeping Strikes build which is also nice. Pick up whatever you feel like. A lot of people ask me about macros. Just type down below in the comments uh, what would you like and I'll write it down for you when I have free time. I'm avoiding to go deep into details. What I'm, what I'm trying to do in these videos is to give you straightforward information. Cause one time I made a fury slash proc warrior guide for classic wow that lasts one hour. It's just too long and people avoiding watching long videos, which is something I completely understand. So first we are going to cover talents and then rotation. I'll make timestamps so you guys can jump to any part of the video. Alright, so let's start with the talents. Alright, so uh, we have uh, 17 points in uh, arms tree and uh, 34 points in uh, fury tree. Uh, let's start with the improved heroic strike, 3 out of 3, which uh, reduces the rage cost of uh, heroic strike by uh, 3 rage points, which is huge, because uh, heroic strike uh, plays a huge role in our rotation. Uh, tactical mastery uh, is a must, of course, uh, especially when you dance. When you when you stance dance, sorry, uh, when you stance dance for that uh, uh, improved overpower, uh, so uh, five out of five in uh, tactical mastery, which allows us to uh, keep twenty five rage points when we stance dance. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing. They did amazing job for putting uh, tactical mastery over here. Then we are going for improved rend, uh, which increases the bleed damage done by. Uh, Rend ability by 20%, but that's not what we really want. I mean, oof. rend can be part of rotation, but uh, I don't really, in my humble opinion, it's not really worth it. You know, you can you you can apply it, but uh, nah. uh, what we need is deep wounds. Your critical strike causes the opponent to bleed. Dealing 30% of your melee's weapon's average damage over 6 seconds and then impale increases the critical strike damage bonus of your abilities by 20%. Just, just look how deep wounds and impale perfectly stacks with literally everything. With the bloodthirst, with whirlwind with overpower, with heroic strike, with, with literally any ability that deals damage. Deep bounce and deep pale. And the last talent we have in our tree is improved overpower, which increases the critical strike chance of your overpower ability by 50%, plus your own crit, which is like, uh, if you are geared, uh, 25 30 percent so that that's uh you will rarely hit with uh, op you will in 70 80 percent always crit with uh, with your overpower so just stance dance from fury to uh arms when your target dodges and uh, tactical mastery allows you to to use uh to use over power, right? And you can also imply, uh, uh, you, you can also apply rent, you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that will be pretty much it in uh, Arms Tree. Then we are moving to Fury Tree. Cruelty increases your chance to get, you know what this is, 5% point of, 5% uh, chance of uh, critical strike. That's, uh, that's a must now. Unbridled Wrath is not worth it, it's just one rage point, uh, they increased it to 75%, but uh, I don't think it's uh, it's worth it, it's it's a garbage talent, in my, in my humble opinion, 
Uh, what we want over here is dual wield specialization. Increases the damage done by your offhand weapon by 25%. That's huge. That's huge. And even more, uh, your chance to hit with your offhand weapon by 10%. This talent is amazing, so you are getting you're getting 25% uh, damage of your bonus damage of your offhand uh, uh, weapon and 10% uh, hit. That's that's a lot. That's amazing. Then we have a uh, improved shout. So if you guys remember back then uh, in uh, classic WoW. Uh, we used to run Axtramas with uh, warriors, uh, with one warrior that have uh, that have improved demoralizing shot. That's not the case anymore because uh, every single fury warrior in raid can do uh, demoralizing shot now because uh, improved shot uh, increases uh, the melee attack power bonus of your battle shot by twenty five percent and increase the melee attack power reduction of your demoralizing shout by 40%. So no more one warrior improved demoralizing shout. Every single warrior, I mean every single fury warrior can uh, can apply uh, demoralizing shout. Uh, now blood craze is also a garbage talent which uh, is totally useless for a uh, fury warrior. Uh, regenerate 6% of your total health over 6 seconds after being the victim of a critical strike. In almost all cases, uh, when it comes to raid, you're not getting critted, you're not getting even hit. It's just... But we need it. We need it to get enraged. Uh, enraged uh, now gives us 25% melee damage bonus for 8 seconds after being the victim of a critical strike. Amazing, amazing talent. Uh, that's uh, that's like a 25 melee uh, damage bonus for 8 seconds. That's a lot. That's huge. That's big. And then a Reckless Execute reduces the cooldown of Execute by 4 seconds so that our Execute uh, is... so that our Execute has Two seconds cooldown instead of six. You know what I mean. Uh, usually execute is uh, is uh, six seconds cooldown, but with this talent we are reducing it to uh, just two seconds. Yeah. Next, uh, death fish. Uh, uh, nothing change uh, when it comes to death fish. Uh, it uh, they 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 just kept it how it was. Uh, now, uh, yeah, that fish, uh, they just kept it how it was uh, before in uh, Vanilla WoW. Uh, improved Whirlwind. Uh, you will put uh, two out of three points in Improved Whirlwind, uh, which uh, reduces the cooldown of your Whirlwind ability by 1.5 seconds. Unfortunately, we cannot fill up this talent uh, three out of three, but... Uh, I don't think that 0 0.5 seconds play uh, a huge role, you know. Uh, 1.5 seconds uh, reduction is uh, is pretty good. Then we have Flurry, which increases your attack speed by 30% for your next 3 swings after dealing a melee critical strike. And the last talent is Bloodthirst. However, Bloodthirst changed. Instantly perform a reckless attack, dealing 80 damage plus 30% of your attack power. But listen, 30% of your attack power, but also a self-inflicted attack for half of that damage. So be careful not to kill yourself with bloodthirst. Because I've seen people killing themselves with bloodthirst. So, uh, your rotation when it comes to dual build is, uh, bloodthirst first. Of course. Uh, then you're going for whirlwind, into heroic strike or cleave. Depends if you're DPSing boss or trash mobs. And then thunder armor. 
to fish for wind fury procs. Yeah, applying sanders can lead to wind fury procs, which is really nice, considering the fact we have cooldown of 6 seconds on hamstring. Hamstring is no longer an option. So uh, we can't really fish with, with uh, hamstring uh, anymore. I mean, we can, but that's so nerfed. You know what I mean? You can try to fish Wind Fury Prox with uh, hamstring every 6 seconds, I suppose, but uh, Sander is uh, much better considering the fact uh, it does not have a cooldown uh, unlike hamstring. So uh, they both cost uh, 10 rage points, so uh, I recommend uh, if you're if you're fishing for Wind Fury Proc uh, to use Sander armor instead of uh, instead of hamstring. When it comes to trash, it's situational, but more or less the same as I mentioned. Blood, thirst, whirlwind, heroic strike or cleave with Sander to fish for Wind Fury Procs. Also, I will recommend using a good two-handed weapon if you have one when it comes to trash mobs. Very, very simple rotation. Bloodthirst, Whirlwind, Heroic Strike, or Cleave, Sunder Armor, uh, repeat, repeat, and repeat. Uh, let me see if I missed something. Rent, if you want to, if you... If you happen to be in a situation that uh, your uh, overpower procs, you know what I mean, if, if your target uh, dodge uh, your attack and uh, then you're going uh, for stance dance, if you if you want to uh, go from zerker stance into battle stance to smash your target with, with smash your target with that juicy uh, or big crit overpower. Uh, meanwhile, you can, while well, you, you are in the battle stance, you can apply rend. I mean, why not? Uh, why not? That's, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, for this video, simple as that. In the next video, I'll do deep arm slash fury build, which is also nice. So you can spec uh, and check that one as well. Uh, I might do fury prot uh, build uh, also. Uh, I'm I'm Fury Prot build myself uh, right now and it works uh, it works okay uh, so far. Uh, anyways, uh, till then, uh, cheers and take care.